would you buy a piece of land and actually invest building there or, or would you rather buy a property which is actually standing if i have that one property where if that person doesn't pay and i need to pay the bank three thousand and now i don't have that money where will i get it it actually disrupts the basics or fundamentals of personal income that's right i would urge every property investors before you actually go into property you actually have a blueprint so the end game the end game is us actually going into rental you know with rental men we retire young professional property investors okay let's get into it now we've been hearing talks we've been hearing talks on the streets the streets are talking man the streets are talking so now the question was um would you buy a piece of land and actually invest in building a a building there or, or would you rather buy a property which is actually standing let's just fix this i mean honestly speaking for me, what I take from that is that it's it's, it's quite a difficult one. I, Let me show different, you. It's different from one person to another. Yes. I think it's different from one person to another. Some okay. people development. That's why some people are, are in development. Other people are more of no, I'll buy it, build. Okay. So it's very important that you know that what what are the what's the foundation of your business. Exactly. Exactly. That's why I would urge every property investors before you actually go into property, you actually have a blueprint which will actually stipulate what you are actually buying right so now these are your rules of engagement right we've been watching a whole lot of um war movies, uh, war movies right <laughs> so now they talk about rules of engagement so now on your rules of engagement it actually stipulates when is the right time to actually take action on a particular uh situation right so now what happens is that you might find a land which is being sold for like 15k right okay but now, if your rules of engagement say that you actually buy properties which are actually built, right? You stay away from that. You stay right? away from it. Because now, when you're running your numbers, your numbers and your budget will actually talk towards your rules of engagement, right? So now, for instance, at a particular point, right? I'll give you a chance. I see that you're burning inside Man, and you actually want to say something, These right? movies. <laughs> you actually want to say something, right? But now, what did I want to say? Oh, yes. Um, on, on, on your... You, you, you're investing right mm -hmm. you are the one that knows your budget you are the one that knows that when do you actually need the money back right mm -hmm. you are the one that actually knows everything about yourself right also your personality does actually speak to your rules of engagement your rules of engagement right so now if you are someone that actually wants cash flow and wants money to actually come in faster right mm -hmm. you know that you do not want to actually buy land right but now if you're someone who actually likes to be patient and likes to be caressed before you actually <laughs> go into the investment right you'd actually buy that particular piece of land I mean, with rules of engagement we also look at value chain the nice thing about property is that you can get money at every level yes. if you know what you're doing so you can get money from the development stage you can also get money from uh, buying the property as is like mm -hmm. buying the property built so now if you know that as you did say if i know that i'm into buying houses that are built already i never even if somebody can come through and say man i'm selling this land for only five thousand i'll never buy it because it actually goes against my rules of engagement with rules of engagement you have to be disciplined disciplined as a soldier definitely so now for for me myself personally right mm -hmm. i would never buy a piece of land right okay maybe now Maybe later on mm -hmm. I might consider it, mm -hmm. right? But now, for now, I'm not actually looking for a piece of land to actually buy into, right? Okay. Because now what I'm trying to do is that I'm trying to build wealth, right? Yeah. yeah, um, yeah. I don't want to buy uh, a piece of land and actually yeah. call people to actually plan the house, how it's going to be, have that approved. After being approved, uh, put in electricity, put in the lighting, put in the water. Can, I don't want to go through that, right? Can I All I want to do is to actually go into the property, refix it, and sell it back into the market. If it does actually make sense, go into the property and rent it out the same day. Going into a property, refixing it, and going into the market. Which type of properties do you go in? Because there's some people that will be like, I prefer one, a single house or a single room to rent, or I prefer multi. I mean, that's another one that we actually talked about, right? Ooh, today I'm pumped up, man. That's so why now, I wanted to ask you that. 
So now on that one, right? Um, it will depend, right? If you have a single land, right? Mm -hmm. You're only selling it, you're only actually uh, renting it out to actually one person, right? Mm -hmm. That actually puts you in a very, very tight situation. Because now, also, what, once what, that what, person removes themselves from the particular property and actually breaks everything, right? You're going to have a vacancy of 0% you're actually not going to get any money from that. So now if you actually took a loan on that particular property, you're going to have a problem because now that loan has to be paid at the end of the at the end of the month, right? The bank doesn't want to hear, no man, uh, the guy just left and he didn't actually pay anything, right? They actually want their money back. So now having a multi lead right? Mm -hmm. Actually having from seven people going up, right? You know that even if one person defaults on their particular property, mm -hmm. right? You, you know that you still can actually make the payment, right? Because now if you skip one payment, it actually um, puts a jab into your credit score. To put to put what he just said in practical, if I've got, let, let's make it just a clear example. Let's say I've got seven people living in the apartment that I'm renting, that I actually own seven people so rent is just one thousand each i'm just making an example just to bring life to what you're saying yes so if it's one thousand each i'm gonna say my one thousand multiplied by seven thousand and and then that means i'm receiving seven thousand on an ongoing basis let's say every month i need to give the bank three thousand so now if one person doesn't pay me i've got time to deal with that person mm -hmm. what, what can happen i'll still have my if one person that i still have my 6k and I'll be able to pay the bank whilst I'm dealing with this individual yeah, at that point in time. Yeah. Comparison to if I have that one property where if that person doesn't pay and I need to pay the bank 3000 and now I don't have that money, where will I get it? It actually disrupts the basics or fundamentals of passive income. Yeah, it's like that's something that uh, one of uh, the, pe the people that we actually attend uh, the conferences at, right? They said that it's better to actually collect one 100 rands from 100 people right mm. unlike collecting one 100 rand bill from one person right because now if i say hey man give me my 100 bucks and you say ah man i don't have it right it becomes a problem to me because now i have to actually make some other commitments but now if there's 100 people right mm. chances are probably 90 will pay me back right sure. and i'll only be left with 10 rand so now that's how we structured our business to give you insight of our rules of engagement and i love these world movies is that we're starting off with flipping so what flip does is that we're buying this one one uh, single house we're fixing we're renovating it selling it back at market price then we save money save money do a couple of those until we're able to buy seven multi multi led houses Definitely. so the end game the end game is us actually going into rental because you know with rental men we retire young we retire very young and that's what we want to do those are our rules of engagement long well